There we go, we're live. Hi everyone, happy Monday. Um, today we're gonna be talking about when you're feeling fear and anxiety before an audition. And we're gonna look at that together. We're gonna be looking at what's actually happening and therefore what you can do about it. So um, you must have experienced that a lot. We hear a, a lot of actors coming our way and really complaining about how much fear and how much anxiety you're feeling before an audition, before a tape. And that the bigger the opportunity, the bigger the audition, the bigger the casting director, the director, the project, and the other actors are, and the less time you have, and the more fear you feel, and the more anxiety you feel. Thank you for the light. And, um, so that's really problematic, of course, because your way into your art is to audition, is to tape. It is absolutely part of your job to be able to show up at an audition and deliver your best incredible self in order to defend the character and the story and to impact your audience. And if you're feeling fear and anxiety, that's really frustrating because you've put all the work, you've rehearsed, you've prepped, you probably went to acting school, you did many, many workshops, you're really invested, you're really putting all of your energy and your passion. And so when you have an opportunity, if your instrument locks up or closes and you are not able to have access to all your talent and how great you know you can be for this part, it's, it's really, really not okay. And even you might be feeling like, oh, when I'm rehearsing, when I'm prepping it, I'm doing great. And then when I get to the audition or when I actually do the takes for my tape, that's when I feel that I'm shrinking, that I'm tensing up, that this fear is actually controlling me and I have no way to go through it. So maybe if you've experienced that a lot, it's problematic because you're keeping it in your nervous system and then you go to the next audition, the next tape, and there's more of, and more of that fear and anxiety stacking up because you're afraid that it's going to happen again. So you're bringing that energy in and you're not booking. And so you're looping. You're probably doing more classes, reading more books. You're probably doing all the things out there that you're meant to be doing in order to improve or get better or not feel this horrible sensation that is the opposite of what you want to be feeling when you're acting, which is pure aliveness, pure freedom, full authenticity, right? So let's look at what's actually happening. Because if you've done all the steps, you've taken all the classes, the workshops, you probably have a coach when you're auditioning, if you're getting all the help you can and you're working really hard, and yet when you have an opportunity, <clears throat> your instrument locks up, it means that something's not working. So what we're gonna look at it, we're gonna look at it in a different way. Your fear and your anxiety is great information for you as an artist. It's great information for you as a professional. You are having that feedback. You're doing all this work and when you're on the field, the feedback you're getting is <clears throat> So if you are doing all the right things that you're being told you should do, study, work hard, rehearse, etc., etc., and it's not working, then that fear can take in and look at and go, okay, so what I am doing is not working. There's no point trying to continue. Posting the content afterwards because it's recorded somewhere else. So the first, if you're doing all the right things and you're not getting the result you want, you want to be look at, looking at, okay, what is happening? How can I understand this? That's the first thing you need to do. And what's happening is in order to understand what is happening for you, you want to be asking yourself, what I anxious about? I'm afraid that I'm not going to be booking. I'm afraid that they won't like me. I'm afraid that I'll forget my lines. I'm afraid that I won't be able to deliver the emotion that's needed. I'm afraid that they won't like me. I probably said that again. I'm afraid that they won't love me, that they won't validate me, that they, I won't be booking and I won't be able to pay my rent at the end of the month. And so I'm going to ask you, 
If you take all of these reasons in one, what does that feel like? It feels like if you're hitting one of those, they won't love me, they won't like me, they won't validate my work, that it won't be right, I will make a mistake, is you're afraid of not being safe. So if I make a mistake or if I'm not exactly what, what they want, I'm not safe because I'm not booking the job and that's my work and I can't pay my rent. So the thing is, the question is, is that why you decided to be an actor? Did you decide to be an actor, to be validated, loved, accepted, liked? Did you want to be an actor to be better than others? If those are the reasons why you decided to be an actor, you need to draw backing. And you need to reconsider the root of why you're an actor, why you're an artist. If you became an actor or an actress for your ego, to satisfy your ego, you will loop forever and you will never find the fulfillment you're looking for. I'll repeat that. If you decided to become an actress or an actor in order to satisfy your ego by being validated, loved, accepted, better than others, you will never find the happiness, the fulfillment that you're looking for. Because that is never what art is about. Your job as an actor is to actually move through your ego, bring in your pre pure aliveness, your truth, your authenticity, in order to defend the character's needs, not your needs. Your job as an actor, I'll repeat it, is to bring your full aliveness, your pure truth, your pure freedom, in order to defend the character's life, the character's needs, not your ego's needs. The problem is you have no access to what is under your ego because you've been conditioned not to be in your truth. You've been trained out of your feelings, out of your thoughts, out of your behaviors, out of and do that. So if you think of it, when you were little, You need to have access to your thoughts, to the pure version of you. And the only thing you do have access to mask is your learned behaviors that told you, be a good girl, behave this way, think this way, feel this way, walk this way, move this way, eat at that time, etc., etc., etc. At home and at school, you have been programmed, educated, raised conditioned and pressured into a version of you that works for others. You have never been asked to cultivate the truth of you, to cultivate the freedom and the authenticity that you're the only one to possess. You, the core you, the heart and soul of you, there's only one of that in the entire world. You are absolutely unique. And I'm not saying this as like a generic thing to say, that's actually the case. Look at all the faces in the world. There's only one of you. That combo that you have, there's only one of you. And your art or anyone else's art, anyone's masterpiece is actually a full expression of that pure version of you. No masterpiece is a, an application of a system or a method or a technique. There is no masterpiece that's ever been the result of a masterpiece. Through that conditioning, back into your freedom and truth so that you can show up to your auditions with the joy that comes with practicing your art because you're pure, because you're free, because you're truthful. No matter what you're feeling, no matter what you're thinking, because you trust that what you're going for is from your heart and soul, not to defend the safety in your, of your ego, not to feel validated, not to look good, not to be liked, not to be better than others, not to book the job. You're coming as a pure, full expression of yourself. That's the only place where art happens. That's why people who work with us 
go through the process of unconditioning themselves and waking themselves up. And when they get to that place, they always say, I didn't expect it to be this easy. It's just so easy. I don't need to work hard anymore. I just show up. And so if you're interested in this, if this makes any sense to you, and if you want to be able to start this journey about like really how do I start moving through these learned behaviors, this programming, this wiring, this education, in order to recover myself, in order to reset myself to who I was born to be as a human and as an artist, you can check out the link in the bio. We have a free training called um, Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor So You Have a Chance at Being Great. And it's free and that will already let you um, discern between your ego and your truth and your pure self so that you can start on this path of reclaiming your true self and being able to show that way in order to make the type of art that you actually want to make. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope that you listen to that anxiety and that fear as feedback and information on what it is that you're looking, uh, that you're doing and that is not working, that has not worked, that will not work better if you keep doing the same things and that you actually start looking within and removing the things that are preventing you from showing up fully without the need to defend your ego, but more so with the desire to defend your character because that's what your work is, that's what you're hired for, that's what you're paid for. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you maybe Wednesday. Uh, we'll send you notifications to make sure that we connect at the right time. All right, thank you guys, bye.